What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris Awards from this past week on all three of my characters. This week's Trials map was another Taking King map, it was Frontier and this map was very open, there was a lot of lines of sight that people could catch you off guard from because it was a very open map. In my opinion, I felt the map was just okay. It wasn't too bad, but it was kind of interesting just because of how open it was. And there was a lot of unique things that you could do on the map. So I'm going to get into my rewards for this week. It was a really good week, and let's get into it. Starting off with my first character on my Warlock from the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting our first of many exotics. We got a Dragon's Breath Year 2 and a Reflection Sum. My Reflection Sum came in at 310, which was kind of unlucky. It did have Headseeker though, but that was actually the first time I got the Year 2 Dragon's Breath, so I can't wait to try it out with the new uh, perks on it. Moving on to the Trials Bounties on my Warlock, for the first few we got the usual Passage Coins, Motes of Light, and Legendary Marks. From the Silver tier we got Unlucky with no Exotic, and from the Gold tier we got the Trials Sniper Rifle, the Glass Promontory at 307. So nothing really spectacular on that set of bounties. Going into my next character on my Titan, from the Lighthouse Chest, we ended up getting a Water Star and a Twilight Garrison exotic chest piece. I was super excited and hyped about that drop. I finally got Twilight Garrison and I got it from the Lighthouse Chest. And so my Water Star came in at 316, pretty good as well. But the Twilight Garrison is one that I wanted to try out for a long time, ever since it came out. I can't wait to try it out some more and play around with it. It's pretty fun, you can use the evade in the air, and it's pretty good in PvP if you can utilize it well, especially if you combo it with like Striker Titan and stuff like that. So I can't wait to play around with it some more. I was really excited about this drop. And then going into the bounties on my Titan, we got some Passage Coins, Motes of Light, and Legendary Marks for the first few. For my Silver tier, I ended up getting another Exotic. We got the No Backup Plans, and I also got a Artifact for my Gold tier. So nothing really special on the Gold tier, but my No Backup Plans did come in at a higher light level than 310 it came in at 315 so that was really good there I can at least use that to infuse into something else if I don't want to keep it so that was a really good drop on silver tier finally for my last character on my hunter from the lighthouse chest we ended up getting another reflection sum and the Aclea phase symbiote so I actually didn't buy it from Zura and I ended up getting it in the lighthouse chest our reflection sum came in at 311 not the greatest there but I did get another exotic so another week of three exotics from the lighthouse chest I believe that's six exotics total from the last couple weeks combined so I've been getting really lucky from the lighthouse chest I've been getting an exotic every time I'm really happy about my luck recently on this chest and then finishing it up on my last set of bounties on my hunter we got some more passage coins motes of light legendary marks from my silver tier we got no exotic there, and for my gold tier, we got the Elevating Vision Fusion Rifle once again at 300. So, that was a pretty good week. We got four exotics total from all my Trials runs. That was really good stuff. And one of them was Twilight Garrison. I finally got one. I was really excited about that. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!